Hi, my special WAC tribe. It's so good to be with you today. Yay, our first real session. And I thought today we should spend a little bit more time looking at exactly how a virus works. Because if we know that, then in future sessions, when I talk about things like masks and social distancing that I'll explain and washing hands and all those kind of things, you'll understand why those are the things that are so important because they protect us from the virus. So I'm going to show you a little something. Watch this. So remember, everything I'm going to be showing you today is about showing you how the virus works and how there's so much that we can do to protect ourselves and others. So let's imagine that our world is that bowl over there um, and that's filled with water. Okay, so let's imagine that we are like these little cotton wool pieces that I'm putting inside of this world. Now let's imagine that these cotton wool pieces are just sitting there with no protection. If I put a virus in, look what happens. It spreads. And let's see what happens to the cotton wool balls. Do you see that they're going to be becoming that bright orange color? Because there's nothing to protect them. So if I pick one of them up, I'm going to see that it's actually changed color. And that's how viruses work. They're tiny and we can't see them. But if we don't protect ourselves and those around us, then we can get sick. But watch what happens when we do protect ourselves with the things that we know that we can do. So here, I've got my world again. So remember that bowl is like the world and there's water inside it. But now this time, before I put my people in, and that's my cotton wool balls, I'm going to take them and I'm going to rub them in Vaseline. And I want you to think about this Vaseline as all the ways that we can protect ourselves. The masks, the social distancing that I'm still going to tell you about, and um, so the masks and the social distancing and the washing of our hands. That's like this Vaseline. And when we protect ourselves using those things, Look what's going to happen. I'm going to rub up all of these cotton wool balls in here. And then I'm still going to put them down into that water. Have a look. There they go. And again this time, I'm going to throw the virus in. So I'm going to throw the virus in. But look what happens this time. Because my cotton wool balls are protected, have a look at this. Can you see that it hasn't changed color at all? It hasn't gotten the virus because it was protected. Have a look, let's check this one. It hasn't got the virus, my fingers got the blue on it, but the cotton wool ball is protected. It is white, it hasn't got the virus. And the other one will be the same. So that's to explain to you that even though viruses are tiny and we can't see them, when we are doing the things that we need to do, we can protect ourselves and others. I hope you enjoyed that. So you might be feeling a little bit scared and a little bit worried and that's all okay. We're going to be speaking about those feelings the next time that I see you. But for now, if we can pretend that we're like a Vaseline ball and do all the things that we need to, like wearing masks, like washing hands, like social distancing that we're going to be talking about in future sessions, then we can keep ourselves safe and we can keep the special people that we love safe too. So just because those viruses are so tiny and we can't see them, it doesn't mean that we, there's not lots that we can do to protect ourselves and other people around us. I hope that all made sense and I hope that was some fun. I can't wait to see you next time for a very exciting session. Goodbye.